403 to 391. Do you know what it's time for, guys? We have to scale back the military. To... All you have to do. Yeah, that's what we had to do last time, and it pulled us through, so. <coughs> Look at that. Right, safeguard oil supplies. Representatives from oil companies based in our country have requested the co that government deploy troops overseas at oil refineries in the Middle East to protect them from attack by terrorists. <laughs> do we send the troops? That's yeah, what they do, do we send life, the troops? But that just ended yeah. up starting another war, and now we have ISIS. So it's, no. It says this is not a foreign invasion. <laughs> if we do not tr <laughs> deploy troops, invasion. the oil will suffer. Yeah. We, the oil will um, suffer, guys. <laughs> we don't need the oil with high, the, those Dude, hybrid cars. Look at the state the Middle East is yeah, in. Yeah, right and we, didn't that, we drill our own... I hang on a minute. Is because people didn't said we yes. drill our own... Hang on, we yeah, drilled drill our own, own country oil. for oil. Need to send in we yeah. don't need them anymore. Yeah, you say hang no, on a minute. And the world goes a completely opposite path than it did in the real world. <gasps> dun, oh dun, dun. So it's yeah, like, we're not sending them. We're not sending them. Do you know why? Because no. in this world, we drilled our own country for oil, and we don't import it anymore. So them saying the oil supply will suffer means the price will go up, and then we'll be worth even more money. Exactly. So I say we don't send troops. What do you say, guys? I need to ask the cabinet. Do not deploy troops. Uh, Through the world. Okay, because we are in our, because we are current, because we're currently, we're in our third term right now. This is this isn't like, no wait, our fourth term. We in our fourth term, yeah, we're in our fourth term in office now. So we, we've been at this now for what? Wait, twelve years? <laughs> Don't mess it up. <laughs> we're now. like, yeah, yeah. We this are we it. gonna this mess it up with a war? Term. Don't pull a. A Come on! Bush, <laughs> yeah, we might. We don't want to mess this up. We're doing yeah. okay. We even managed to screw the. We we managed to uh, say. Look, we say we saved. Look at this. We've got a reserve, man. A reserve. Okay, that means we fixed the world bet. World debt. Well, we fixed ours anyway. <laughs> okay, we went down to a C rating and we clawed our way back from a, like a two trillion debt or something ridiculous. It's brilliant. But yeah, we Should got our own know? oil. All hey, look, look, oil look. Companies, look. We start giving them loans. And then, in a year's time, if they don't pay back with interest, then we take their companies. Check this out, guys. As soon as we reduces all of our taxes, bang, world economy comes back into action. <laughs> Lol. We, if we just take all the money and pay off the world debt and <laughs> screw everyone over and then... <laughs> This is actually really quite interesting as a thought experiment. Okay. So 407 to 386. We're doing good. We're doing good. The economy is on the rise. I think we'll, what I'll do is I'll incrementally raise the uh, taxes this time. <laughs> okay, we'll do income tax first. Up to 40. This is going to be great. You're going to watch... You're gonna, then watch the you're gonna watch the world economy flatline. Yeah. Okay, here we go, right? Ten percent. Oh no, we don't have enough. We have to wait till the next turn. It's okay. Media backlash. Economic From forecast. What? Oh recession. What are you talking about? It looks like it's going up. GDP slowed down though. Okay, right. So Let's what? take this back. It's not to like there's a problem with it. I got this. I got this. He's just tweaking it, man. Five percent. Yeah, we can leave that there. What's going on here? Look at this. Our alcoholism is bad. It's costing us money. I don't know. Let's right. put up the rate of money that you let's move up alcohol taxes. Hang on, I can just wait. Hang on, if I take the limit off alcohol, 
alcohol consumption and violent crime goes down. Go That's for it. Up. I don't get it. Because, like, if you really want to, it's right there. People get used to it, and they're like, oh, well, you know. The people that really want to get, like, nuts, they go nuts. But just some people just won't care, because it's like, you know, great. I can have it whenever the hell I want. All right, well, I mean, I could put it to age 21, which will negatively affect alcohol consumption, which might help. So we tried 16, you know, we tried 16 and it, and it did fix the alcoholism for a while, but now it's back. It's popular with voters doing it. And we go on holiday for another, another three weeks, three months. Okay guys, DNA database, do we allow it? Do we allow the DNA database? global DNA mm. database to fight crime although there are some privacy concerns Who I think we do crap? actually have this well I think do you know we, do, we do actually have this in the real world but we're gonna allow it or prevent it yep. Yep. okay we're doing it boom no no trying to fix people oh wow the budget the budget. The budget. Do the economy is on the rise. Yeah, the oh. econ look, the world economy has nearly gotten to the point where I raised taxes last time. <laughs> okay, so So tell me what petrol tax. How much money do you want to loan? <laughs> <laughs> Because at this point, you're just like, well, I have all this money and nothing to do with... Mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, like, <laughs> how big is your debt? Is that so? There's not put a pond in my grand ocean here. But if you don't pay it back in a year, I take your country. <laughs> <laughs> with interest. We'll take your neighbor's country. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your territories, mate. Which it is an interesting like game. Alaska, Panama and a few uh, places in uh, the uh, Philippines. Um, yeah. Okay, what's next? Okay, guys, next question. Factory farming law. Animal welfare standards on farms. The law has been proposed that would set higher minimum standards for space, food, access to outdoors. So, animal living conditions. Tougher standards or leave unchanged. So, it's animal cruelty laws, basically. Uh, leave unchanged. Yeah, because the more higher, um, you know... More expectation equals more money that they have to spend, which means overall higher prices and the economy dupes. Pretty much. Yeah. Hmm. So basically, we, we do it or we don't. Assholes that we don't want to be, but we have to. Well, for this, we are trying to be. Yeah, that's the point. This time around, we're trying to be more capitalist appeasing, because you tend to stay in office forever. Which is the point I've been <laughs> trying to make here. <laughs> if you appease the capitalists, suddenly you never get voted out. It's funny. The last Think of Fluffy! Just drop everything, go liberal everything. No. Yeah, just at the last <laughs> minute, we just suddenly tax the crap out of them. Anyway, that's pretty much how I tried to do that. It nearly worked. But anyway, <laughs> okay, so are we going to set these standards or leave them unchanged? I, I... Leave them unchanged. Yeah, leave them unchanged. Done. We don't need the standards. They're not human. Budget has a massive surplus again. Okay, so how is the... Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's doing good. I'm going to put that flat rate up to 10%, to 7%, no, 9%. See, I should have that on 25. With a strong economy, I should have 25 and 25 and be fine. But at this point, I have to deal with 10 and 36. You know, so... 
I suppose I could lower that, but it, this is my breadwinner right now. I know it's harsher for the sheep, but you know, what are you going to do? Here's <laughs> the animal testing. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, the, you you have no idea the lengths to which the corporations will go if I try to mess with their animal testing. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, look, we've got a food, our food standards food standards industry is like maximum, man. We spend three hundred twenty-two million a quarter on that. That's like quite a lot of money. We've got particle accelerators, student laptops. What else have we got in this? Clean fuel subsidies. Oh man. Got opera houses. And limited circumstance abortion law. I mean, come on, this is like the ultimate country. <laughs> and let's not forget legal prostitution. With, with what? Maximum legal prostitution? No, just medium. I don't really know what that means, but... Okay, I think we're good for the military again. Boom, overwhelming force. Ah, oh, I can't do this now. Damn it, I've run out of points. Oh my god, corrupt socialist. He was a tax evading funnel money, money funneler. Ah. Not cool, not cool. Oh, but... with his head! It's all right, we're going from strength to strength. And look at our opposition, they're so weak. So weak. We're like yes, six, so we outnumber weak. them on, we outnumber them 16 to one. And when they have over a million supporters, that's like a lot of overwhelming force. Yeah, and we're halfway through. I reckon we could probably take two. Yeah, let's take a holiday. Okay, we've been called off holiday. We've been called off holiday, guys. Retail merger. A large retail chain store has announced plans to buy out one of its major competitors. The merger needs government approval, but if it goes ahead, it will create one of the biggest companies in the country. Do we allow the merger, or do we block the merger? <sighs> no. It's one um, for the Monopolies Commission, dude. Yeah. Small well, businesses I'm and trade unions allow it, blocking it. The capitalists would love it. Hmm. If you allow it, the, the capitalists. Mm, yeah, the capitalists would love it if you allowed this. Hmm. See, of course you've got to the really get into the mind like of the banker. Yeah, yeah. Ex obviously, the trade unionists would like it if we block this. And the, let's see, more people vote for us. So I think we should probably block this. But yeah, but do you want people assassinating you again? Well, there shouldn't be that much of a no monopoly, should there? Uh, you just got to hope that whoever owns this mega corporation isn't going to go as far as he wants, you know? Um, it's a hard one. Allow it. Create monopolies. It's a screwed up world. <laughs> Create a monopoly. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Because all that's going to happen is if you block it, one of them will eventually be smaller than the other anyway. So, yeah. Allow it and see what happens. I bet they kill themselves through mismanagement. <laughs> People are becoming indifferent. Budget is in good shape. We should consider dropping taxes. Pfft. Nah, mate. I'll let the economy crash before I drop taxes. I know what happened last time. We were, like, living off of nothing. Remember? Remember? When we had like no money and couldn't do anything, I remember those days. I remember the <laughs> 1.5 billion, the 1.5 billion pound deficit. I remember it well. And now we have nearly a trillion. Look at that, half a trillion in the bank. Hell yes. See, they might have assassinated me in America, but. My VP put me back together and we ran for office in the UK. We're doing great. <laughs> Be fair though, I did make a lot of silly decisions in that game. <laughs> I 
Okay, well, we haven't finished our holiday yet, man. See, I think the key to this game is actually taking lots of holidays. If you overmanage, I think you can mess it all up. Okay, debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of aggressive methods they're using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not limit, will not lend money. This law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. We've already done this one. So, I swear we did, yeah. We said. Yeah, we, we limited said, it we last said, time. Yeah. Well, we limit it again then. Yeah. That's a bit random. All right. Damn it, I was on holiday. You pulled me back to give you the same answer. Damn it. Budget balancer. We've kept, kept the country's finances in the black for five years. Boom. Boom. Five years. Boom. No deficit. Doctors successfully reattached a hand to a man who was involved in a car accident. And now everyone's going on about our health system being awesome. Uh -huh. yep. Oh my god, intelligence services report growing concerns about a small extremist religious organization known as Crusaders of the Lord. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is bad. We need to like do Fanatics. something about religion. Yeah, we need to appease the fanatics. Where's the creationism thing? Here it is. Right. Let's emphasis on creationism in schools. Yeah, they taught me all we'll about find it out. It's just a couple of guys having a, having a take on the internet. <laughs> well, we hope it's not a serious threat, but... I'll tr I'll just I'll just you know we're going to educate the kids about both things and then it's fair right? They can't say nothing about that before we weren't telling them anything, you know. <laughs> so now we're yeah so yeah, surely that'll be a good thing anyway. So we still have a problem with smoking and we still have a problem with drinking, but then I tax all of that. So it's not like I really want people to quit. Hate to say it, but it's true. Um. You know, we make a lot of money off of alcohol and tobacco, so it would be stupid for us to encourage you not to smoke and drink. Just one of those things, you know. It'd be like if I banned cars, they wouldn't get any road tax or petrol tax. That's just stupid. So of course everyone should have a car. <laughs> oh dear. After all, God gave your hands to pay money to people with, right? Anyway, what do we got? We got 10% corporation tax. Enterprise investment scheme. Mm. How's the economy doing? Are we in a bleeding recession again? Yeah, look. Look at that economy. I'm telling you, Von Doom, it's going to freaking drop again. Well, I guarantee you. Seriously, those poor countries need to stop going into debt. I know, they just don't know how to stop themselves, man. Like, we're, like, just flying along. See, the key, really, was putting loads of money into state pensions, because then all the old people, people vote for you. Kids never vote, man. They just don't vote. So what's the point in appealing too to them? Too busy playing video games. Yeah, they're too busy playing video games, mate, to actually go and vote, whereas all the old people Gee, go. Familiar. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just, you know... What what can I say? I'm just speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, right. I don't know anyone that votes, and they all play games. So yeah, I think games are pretty popular these days. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, to be honest, I think that everything's good. Okay, let's see. We got citizen chat, citizen tests. <sighs> School tax credits. There's nothing in here really that makes me go, yeah, that's really going to help us. Nah, none of this is useful really. It looks useful and it looks popular, but we're popular. 
So I don't know why I need to do okay. that. Why why fix it, right? Mind you. Yeah, youth club subsidiaries. That's good. That's good. That'll reduce crime. I'm actually going to put a whole billion into that. Full on. Yes, yeah. mate. Solve the crime with community projects. Freedom of Information Act again? Didn't we already reject this? I swear we already rejected this in our first term. Yeah, I think we did uh, re reject it. Mm, yeah, we're going to reject it again, but only because we have the most aggressive spy service in the world. <laughs> and we don't want to tell you about that, which we would have to. If oh, wait, we last that, time we so. proposed it. Let's reject it. Yeah, oh, we proposed it. Well, we'll reject it now then, because they, they obviously didn't l l listen. You should have listened. Look, our, our party membership is largest by a noticeable margin. 16 million to one still. Those guys have got no chance, man. No chance. I think it's because we've managed to keep everybody happy. Getting a bit of knocking coming through the sound there. Uh oh. The reason why people uh, vote for us is because they're familiar with us. They know what they're getting. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, you could just vote for the mushroom party again. See, our income was spiking and then the world economy went again. So we just dropped taxes and just recuperated nice and slow. And now the, the economy is just sort of ticking along because this time I didn't like hike taxes big time <laughs> oh man yeah with the reason that we have the internet tax so low is because all the clever people come and live here because they all use the internet and we have the cheapest internet that's 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 why we did that because we did have a high internet tax but then we had a brain drain where all of the really super intelligent people would just go into other countries so now we've so got clear. like the best education and We've got the best education, the best schools, all the technology, the best science and medicine and all that. In fact, that's a point. We should spend more money on our healthcare system while we've got the money. <coughs> Is this where yeah. it all goes wrong, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Is this where it all goes wrong? Because at the moment, we, you only get healthcare if you've got, like, you know, a serious illness only. We could change that to some prevention. But it would cost a lot, like. Let's put another 8 billion into it. Because I already have, like, a freaking utop utopia <laughs> or something. They gave us an award for it. Let's have a look. Is that, is, it, is that it? Oh, these are parties. Yeah, they're all screwed. Trophies. What have we got? We got a green utopia, a crime free utopia. An egalitarian miracle, a survivor, because they tried to kill me and I won. <laughs> and then sovereign wealth, filibustering, because we've been in for four terms, and electric, elect, oh, that was just from the first win. Oh, and budget balancer, because I was in the black for five years. So we're uh. doing okay so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like a complete noob with no no training in economics. I like this game. It's fun. So there it is. Boom, boom. Relative GDP is... Look, our GDP is the world GDP, dude. And our reserves are just going up. Interest rates are just flat because we're AAA. Our debt is non -ex it's just gone now. It was debt. Where's the debt? I can't see the debt. It's below the icons. The debt's, debt's, yeah, it's like at the bottom of the line. You don't even, you don't even get to see the debt anymore. It's gone. We're still not... Oh, foreign relations are up, yeah? This term was... Our target was to increase foreign relations. That's, that was our big thing. That was our target. We're, we're, we're doing it. I, what I need to do is I need to figure out... And the Battenberg Group of No Power 
It's just the crusaders of the Lord, mate. We need to figure out how to appease the religious people. Can we give them, like, a, a tax break for having churches or something? That seems... Ah! Faith school, ah. Subs, faith school subsidies. I, I might be able to get that next time. Yeah, okay. Going on holiday. I think we're in the last quarter. School sponsorship. Corporations want to put Coca-Cola logos on school books. Do we allow it? What the? <laughs> well, that's what pretty much what it says. That's pretty much what it means. They want to put they they'll put free books in schools, but the chances are it'll be how many Coca Cola cans do you get if I have three Coca Cola cans and drop one of them? <laughs> Actually, spot all the sponsorship. It'll increase your education. Yeah, are you sure about that? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, did we did politics works like that? Bam. Okay, um, yeah, so that's it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to allow that. Okay, we're going to get 71% in the next election. Boom. I don't think anyone's ever got 71%. <laughs> it's like an overwhelming landslide victory. These guys, oh dear. Have we got our freaking Mars base yet? That's what I want. <laughs> Okay, we're going to ban Sunday shopping because... No, wait, we can't do that. That's too much. It annoys me that shops are shut on a Sunday. Today is a Sunday and I couldn't get pizza. I had to walk six miles longer than usual to find one that was a takeaway. So I had to go to a takeaway when I wanted to eat in. What the hell? Anyway. <laughs> First world problems aside. <laughs> I think if we went with uh, faith school subsidies, it won't be popular, but it will appease the right people. You know? I don't know. It's not popular. It says it's definitely not popular. You know? Like, I wouldn't do this, but the religious people are going to kill me. So I need to do something. And I figure maybe faith schools could be a thing. You know, they have faith, sco yeah, they faith have schools. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. It's only three billion as well. I reckon if I sink like all the money into it, yeah, I've got loads of money. It doesn't matter. Let's see. What's that? That's youth clubs. Youth clubs are at maximum. See what I'm saying? We're gonna put all the money into all the cool stuff. Health food subsidies. A tax incentive tax. that makes healthier food cheaper. It's not popular. Nobody cares. You know? It's funny. Okay. Nanny state. Go on. Yeah, nanny state. Look at that. I got it anyway. Healthy minds and bodies. Boom. It's never been so good. I didn't even need to buy it, mate. Yeah, the crew. Cru I've got to watch out for the create. For the, uh. Crusaders. Oh no! See, that's just that's just it. Like, as, if uh -oh. they kill, then there's gonna be so much backlash, backlash against religion that they're they're gonna be screwed. We've got an internet scandal, dude. Internet <laughs> scandal, race hatred, and instructions on bomb making and such and other crimes. It's impossible to completely police the net, but the public perception is we're not doing enough. Well, taxing it isn't going to help, so... Um, there's not really much you can do about that. Hmm. Internet censorship is not popular, man. But that's pretty much what they're asking for. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I don't care. I'm not doing it. 
Right, what's this? Biofuel right. subsidies. Hmm. Lean ourselves off the oil, huh? Do it. Wait, what happened to it? I never. I didn't. Where, where did that go? You love it when that happens. Obviously not in here anymore, is it? Because I put it on. Could probably put the organic food subsidy on as well, but eh. Let's increase military spending just a little bit. I don't want everyone to take a crap and like go into world recession again. Look, the economy is just ticking along, man. It's not really going up or down. Same with the income. We're just sort of. We're just rolling along with 1.1, 1. 1, wait, 1.2 trillion pounds, just just chilling in the bank with my AAA <laughs> credit rating. <laughs> Even if you start oh, think, losing money, oh, you'll never be in debt, to matter. be honest. It doesn't matter anymore, and now I've got so much money. I mean, I feel sad that the next guy is going to come in and screw everything up. Because <laughs> like, this is it. This is all I get, mate. <sighs> I don't want to end the turn. I gotta do it. Okay, guys. Here we go. The final election. Oh Four man. More years. You want to stay standing? Freaking dude, more dude, like. You know the second that you oh, go out, some hang on. religious nut is gonna go in and get everything up. Dude, more like 16 more years. Do you realise how long we've been off in an office? <laughs> I've been in office for 16 years, and they want more. We want more. I've even managed to wake up some of the apathy vote. Look, the apathy vote's never been <laughs> so small, mate. And the opposition vote is just get it was smaller and smaller and smaller every time. So let's see, did I manage to get ah oh, international trade was down. Damn it. That's one thing I can't crack is international trade, man. Tourism was up, I think. Equality was down. You need, for, you need to emphasis industry. Oh. Currency strength is up 41%, dude. Our, our economy is riding high, man. Loving it. Everyone's earning more money. GDP is up. Oil prices. Oh, wow. Interesting. Demand up. Supply down. Price up. What? That doesn't make any... That's interesting. Racial tension is actually down. Somehow. And foreign relations are actually up. And unemployment is down as well. Dude, I've managed to fix most things at this point. Like... Boom! How are we still in office? I thought there was a limit on how long you could stay. <laughs> no, remember you put no limit, because you did monarchy as well. Oh! What? What? You what, so I can't... And then you put no limit on... Uh on terms. Did I? Yeah. I didn't. Did you I? Did. Yes, so this will never end. Oh no. <laughs> this will never end. Well I think I've pretty much done I've pretty much beat the game at this point so oh my god yeah. extradite. <laughs> Do we want to extradite him? I think we did. We That's didn't what we did last time him, didn't, didn't we? we? No we kept him here. Okay. War. I can't War believe not. I'm still in office. Yeah. What the hell's going on? I don't know what's no. going on. Right, I'm going on holiday for the next four years just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol abuse is at an end. Urgent policy. Livestock imports. Do we import? I think that we rejected the ban. No, wait. I think we rejected the ban because it was going to cost money. Yeah, that's right. And then next term. You've managed to sheer s ship, steer the ship for six years without once having to resort to firing a minister. 
What? Yeah, I did fire someone, didn't I? Or did I do a reshuffle? I did, didn't I? I reshuffled instead of firing them. Oh man, the pipelines. Where's my military? You're getting full strength. And then I'm going back on holiday. God damn it. Right, next quarterly report. Software patents. Software patents, guys. Do we allow them or reject them? Uh, you know, like Appia versus Knuckle. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, right, what's next? Economic forecast. Yeah, great. How's the risk? Oh God! Look at the economy. It's look at. I mean, the global economy's. Oh God! Right, quick. Where's the fixed rate? Fixed rate interest. Put that down to five percent. We're going into recession mode, guys. Again. Yeah, it's recession again. Thirty percent. Sales tax might have to come down to 15, we'll see. There's a controversial march. Are we going to ban it or allow it? The march goes through somewhere with race, racist tendencies and they reckon they're going to fight each other. A right-wing political it. group. Ban, ban the march. Okay, good. Next. Uh-oh, a liberal uh, plot? What? The liberals have guns? What? Arm your police. Are you serious? Terrorists captured. Well, that went well, didn't it, guys? That's so funny. We, we captured the, the liberals that had guns because they didn't know what they were doing with them. Uh, what? The transport minister is leaving. No, you're not. I'm reshuffling the cabinet. Ha! But you didn't see that coming. <laughs> cabinet reshuffle! Get me loyal people. I don't want anybody else. Yeah, at this point you don't so care. You just a... Yeah, I just want loyalty at this point. I've been doing this for too long to take any chances. Foreign policy, you... Who else? Welfare. The first person I see with welfare and high loyalty has got the job. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Uh, it's going to be her, but she hasn't got great loyalty, I'll be honest. Welfare. No. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's given me welfare. Full. Oh, God. She's got crap. What is she even doing here? Welfare. Hired. Even though you haven't got that, it's not that great, but you know, you, 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 you are. <laughs> seriously, is this my cabinet? Economy, economy, that guy had economy, whoa, boom. Okay, next, Chancellor, the Chancellor, so tax, Norman Phillips, you've got the job. You're the first guy with high loyalty that I saw on the list. <laughs> That's how it goes down, mate. Law and order. Uh, no loyalty. What are you even doing here? Uh, I'd show you the door myself, but there's no button for it. Right? Law and order. No loyalty. No loyalty. Mm. Law and order. No loyalty. Seriously? This guy? No. This guy is the only one. Who's this? Transport minister. No loyalty, no loyalty. Good, so could be Catherine Powell. Could be Kimberly Clark. It's going to be Catherine Powell. Done. And how's the economy doing? Charts. Global economy is going not into a hard recession, but it is in recession. So basically, I need to take the sales tax down to 10%. And roll the dice. Uh, 
Oh no! Oh, failed assassination attempt. The Freedom League. Liberal issues. They're trying to blow me up. So it looks like I might get assassinated soon, guys. I think the Liberals are going to come and get me. Which is just well. a... That's just... Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, I know. liberal <laughs> bombing plot. What? That's not unheard of. But then this is nearly 20 years in the future, so... In the future, liberal extremism has caused suicide plots. Wait, what? <laughs> I know. Funny, because the ridiculous. liberals are starting to like you. Are they? Yeah, it's going up. Yeah, it's going up. Extremists. Let's have a look. Liberals. Yeah, they are. The lib. It is. It's starting to go up. Oh, it's because they. It's because they planned it, didn't they? They they planned it. Oh wait, or because oh. I was misleading them with the software thing. <laughs> but that's okay. We throw in a few chaos bones like that. Look at what the look. The patriots loved it, mate. What what we did there, the patriots absolutely loved it. But then we sort of went back on ourselves. But the thing is, they loved it way more than these guys hated it. And I love the Patriots more than I, than these guys hate us. Does that make sense? <laughs> uh huh. Sort of. <laughs> kind of no, not really. Sorry. Another failed assassination attempt, dude. We're in trouble. Uh, Who was it this trip. time? It was the Freedom League. Increased Can you see my intelligence? The Freedom League. God damn it. It wasn't the Crusaders of the Lord. It was the Freedom League. Who are the Freedom League? My popularity has never been higher, mate. Oh, dude, this isn't good. I'm going to get assassinated again. Okay. But then everything's going to go to crap, and then they're going to regret assassinating you. Yeah, well, that's what happens, isn't it? Look, I've even Extremist. fixed the alcohol problem. <laughs> it just increased military power and you'll be fine. Uh, arm police I did. officers to the max. Yeah, but I can't find... Oh, wait, hang on. That's in the ideas list. Well done, mate. Well done. I forgot. I yeah. think I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to have that. Oh, he's going after a person. Where is it? <laughs> Where are the armed police implement? And we're going to have submachine guns. And the liberals will hate that. Seriously hate that. But they're trying to kill me, so it's curfews next. Oh, wait, actually, how about the death penalty next? Yes. They can have the death penalty if they get caught. And then it's just a question of time. Yeah. Unless they get me on the next roll, because I could die at any point. Uh, let me just make sure I don't leave the economy in tatters. Hang on. Yeah. See? Oh, it's still on, mate. The global... Global attempt. I'm not going for anything in particular. This is the Mushroom Party. I play it by ear. And I'm dead! Those were my last words. <laughs> I play it by ear. Get shot in the head. <laughs> they blew up... No, they didn't shoot me in the head. They blew up the building that I was in. I was giving a press conference. Oh, no! Both of you guys are dead too. <gasps> no! Wait, why are I we turned talking? a blind eye to the concerns of liberals and they made me pay the ultimate price. Boom. You should get a report at the end, man. So, basically I think next time we'll try doing extremism again, but uh, this time went on for a lot longer than I thought it would, mainly because we didn't die for like five, six years. Which was pretty fun, actually. So, yeah. Um, amazing. Wait, what's that? What's this? Is this like the last 50 election victories and shows where they were? Socialist, liberal. Well, that's where the country was to start off with. So, we didn't really do much different there. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you all next time.